Warning, this video is not where it's supposed to be, but it's where it's gonna be. Oh, toast is up. If you want to call this toast. These are gluten-free, sort of <laughs> everything on them, bagels. And I've been thinking about having that coffee all day at work. So just bear with me while I grab a coffee. Get that started. Unplug the toaster because we don't need it no more. And grab myself some cream and peanut butter for my bagely things. Okay, I'll get right back to you. Oh, look, and the little pussy gets here too. <laughs> Boy, I don't know what sounds better. The rain lightly falling on the canvas in the background or the coffee, the sound of the coffee brewing. Oh yeah. I know what smells better anyways. Yeah, listen to that pretty sound. Wow. Sure is pretty sounding. Cheers. Mm. Ah. Yep. Beautiful. So what did I mean by that this video is not where it's supposed to be, but it, where it's going to be? I'm just going to explain that really quickly. Um, I didn't have any intention to make this video, but listen to the radio today while I was at work because today's Friday. Uh, it's an early Friday. I just I just got I just got home from work. It's late Friday afternoon, but uh, listening to the radio at work, which is often more depressing than enlightening and or uh, uh, inspiring, because apart from the stupid crazy commercials that you hear a million freaking times a day, they keep bringing up the subject that summer is winding down. So that is. You know what? Yeah, it is. And what's really hitting home for us, um, I don't know where you guys are in the world. Well, I know where some of you guys are in the world, but wherever you're watching from, just to recap, we are in Ontario, Canada, and we are just outside of the big city of Toronto. And for any of you who ever lived in this uh, geographical area, you'll uh, be familiar with something called the CNE, the Canadian National exhibition or just the CNE everybody calls it the CNE um, it started today Friday it's the first day of its two week run and it originally started off as um, uh, like a harvest festival type of deal and exposition of, of wares and stuff and it's just it's just a giant giant carnival and it is a tradition for anybody who grew up in in Toronto in the big city uh, to go to the C go to the CNE, especially as a kid. I mean, I haven't been there. Anchor Girl and I haven't been there in, in many, many years. I I can't remember the last time we were there, 20, 30 plus years ago. Um, but given the fact that it's, uh, you know, it always indicated the end of the summer because it runs two weeks, like I say, up until Labor Day, um, which is for everybody the always the unofficial ending of summer. Uh, even us boating types and it's um oops watch it i got a little kitty cat here trying to bite me again <laughs> anyways he's so happy to see me stop biting my toes here i gotta show you this hey stop biting my toes i'm trying to film people here <laughs> oh, like, oh daddy i'm so happy that you're at the boat now <laughs> yeah so um the cne end of summer Boo hoo hoo, um, and like I say, because it always ends at Labor Day, and you know, as a kid, you know that after Labor Day, it's back to school time, which was never any fun for me, and I think a lot of kids lamented having to go back to school at the end of the summer because you know it's the end of the summer and all that that uh, that that entails. Uh, so I just wanted to reach out to you guys and get your impressions on how this summer has been. As I think I mentioned to you in the past, it's been a very, very different summer for Anchor Girl and I. Um, our boating season, even though we started really early, 16th of April, so we're, June, July, August, no, 
about so May, June, July, August. We've been in the water for four months now, just over four months, incredibly. And, you know, we're on the boat every single weekend, but we haven't been doing much traveling. And so, like I say, how, why this video isn't where it's supposed to be, I'm, I'm throwing this into the mix ahead of our summer holiday uh, videos. I think I got vi four videos already produced for that, for our time away. Uh, we actually, <laughs> spoiler alert, we went away and we came back and then we went out again. And um, yeah, let's just say it was interesting. I'm not going to go into any details right now, but it was, it was really different for us. So what I want to say is that what I want to ask you guys, like I say, how, what your impressions of the summer has been. Um, for any of you that live in this broad geographical area, uh, the greater Great Lakes part of the world, you know that we, uh, we put up with a lot of smoke from the wildfires, not locally, but the smoke always in the air it was back in the uh, air earlier this week, really, really strong smelling. Um, but rain, man, rain, rain, rain. Um, a traditional summer would be, you know, four or five days of hot, sunny weather, and then maybe one day, maybe two days of rain, and then back to nearly a week of, of summer, hot and, and sun. But this summer, it's been, it's been mostly rainy. Yeah, so your idea, your impressions of the summer, we did not travel nearly as much as we should have, but we couldn't have, as I, again, as I mentioned in the past, family commitments have uh, kept us close to home physically. Uh, not to say that we're still not going to be able to get away later this season. Um, we're talking about in September maybe going somewhere. Timing. I don't know. It comes down to weather and uh, my work commitments. I have to uh, get to a certain level of uh, at the project where I'm working right now before I can take off again. But hopefully we can take another week off. Go somewhere, anywhere, just to get away. Um, our uh, most recent trip was just getting away just relaxing and doing nothing is it was overdue for me um, again general contractor 60 years old I'm still swinging a hammer and uh, pushing my body harder than I probably should but it's just my nature and just how I am but my body is saying time to start slowing down so I'm working towards that as well in my mind <laughs> so uh, it was nice to get away and just relax and do a lot of nothing most of the time we're away so uh, yeah give me your impressions and let me know um, I just wanted to put this out there now um, the subsequent videos are gonna show our, our time away but uh, yeah I don't want to depress anybody I don't want to get anybody down but just like yeah summer's really really winding down fast incredible and it's in my mind again it it, it never really got here it's it's crazy it's crazy it's crazy just too busy and not enough time to enjoy the boat as we should not enough time to properly enjoy the boat so like i said i just want to get your idea on your impressions of the season so far summer's not over yet but if you've been able to get away and please when you leave me comments just let me know where you are geographically in the world i don't need your home address but um uh, Oftentimes you go, oh yeah, you know, we've got a lot of rain here too. Where is here? <laughs> Where you are, I I can't see you. This is this is one way. So you see me, I can't see you. Of course, my regular commenters, hi guys. I know where you guys are, but a lot of times people just throw stuff out and these generalizations, and I don't know what they're talking about because I don't know where they are in the world. So let me know where you are, generally, roughly. And uh, how the weather has been. I have had quite a few comments where people say, yeah, it's been uh, uh, really uh, rainy uh, summer. Uh, we've had a lot of wind too. So, you know, again, those, those classic summer days of, of calm, sun, and warm. Not so much this year. Don't know why. Um, I'm hoping it's just a, a, a different summer and that this is not going to be the norm moving forward now one thing i am grateful that we have you know lots of rain we're not parched we're not in a drought condition we don't have any wildfires locally to us the trees are all green and beautiful and the grass is nice and green so we're we're very fortunate that way i'm very grateful for that um but that said it would be nice to have you know a few nice weekends at least of just really nice hot calm 
sunny summer days. Just even sit outside or sit on the sit on the swimming platform and enjoy a cold one and take it all in. Now that's not to say that we're not enjoying our time on the boat. We love it. Um, we actually spend we have spent more nights on the boat this season than we have at home even though we're not traveling you know we, we come to the boat every weekend um, get away the lot the couple times that we have been able to and it's honestly it's a sanctuary to come to the boat and it's just so relaxing it's um, especially you know a break for me from work and uh, not only the physical side of it but you know the mental side and everything that that I have to uh, you know keeping my ducks in a row type of deal but it's nice to not have to think about that or worry about that or carry on about that stuff so it's nice just to get away and this is like I say it's a sanctuary for us and we're very help happy very grateful that we have this even if we can't leave the dock as much as we, we as we want to and going for pump outs doesn't really count <laughs> although it's always a joy for, for me to drive this boat i love driving this boat so so much so that's it um like i said i didn't want to uh bring anybody down but i just i just i i wanted to mention that to you and like i say look forward to what you have to say about it and on the next video we are actually taking this boat and we're driving that way that way <laughs> that way yeah and we're gonna We'll be getting away, and uh, I hope you'll enjoy that one because I think that's one's a little bit more upbeat. All right, looking forward to what you have to say, and I will see you when we're away. Cheers.